the Lord said to me, He said, People have not been making me to help. See, people have not been making me to help. So I was like, What is happening? He said, People have not been making it to heaven because of a repeated errors in the body of Christ. And the Lord said, Only Christian in these activities will not make it to the kingdom of God. They will eventually end their lives in hell. We are expected to be a gospel preachers. Any Christians are expected to be vibrant in God. Any Christian are expected to be a warrior in Christ Jesus. In your working place, you are expected to be well known for the ghost of Jesus that you are introducing for your for your work uh co-workers. Get rid of everything that does not glorify God. It is time to rest it too. They eventually end their lives in hell. We are expected to be a gospel preachers. Any Christians are expected to be fat. Get rid of them. Get them out of your house. Otherwise, you go to hell. talk too much my name remains Amos Vita Daniel by the grace of God his message is that you should avoid what is the equally yoke you are having with unbelievers as your best friend you say this is your best friend are you okay unbeliever don't you see what the Bible says the Bible says do not be equally yoke with an unbeliever can't you hear it you see what relationship is light and, and darkness having together what tell me what what is the with that only no man shall see the lord so don't tell me that uh, because he's born to give us if you believe in holiness it doesn't matter in as much it's not in the jesus size it's in the devil's side when Jesus Christ came, he taught people how to love God with their heart and to give everything they have for Jesus, for God. As a sign of denials, he said, deny yourself. When you are using worldly things and material things, you have not denied yourself. It's, a, it's just a basic truth that you are careful now not God's side a bastard in the kingdom the bible says he said he that will not deny himself and follow me he that will not deny himself and follow me he says it's not worthy to be my disciples it's not worthy to partake in the kingdom it's not worthy to be among those saints who is going to come there bless you bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth my name is apostle peter daniel by the grace of god uh today we are in heaven and hell life program which we usually do every day uh by the grace of god the lord gave me a special message for all the christians all over the world this message is not meant for an unbeliever is a message straight away to the Christians, directly to those people who are born again and those people who are preparing for raptures. Those people who are genuinely preparing for rapture. These are the message that is meant for them. Uh, I pray the Lord God will bless them in the uh, the Lord God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what is the message? About a few days ago, let me say a week ago now. The Lord was speaking to me. He has been speaking to me about it and he's repeating it to me. The Lord said to me, he said, people have not been making me to help. See, people have not been making me to help. So I was like, what is happening? He said, people have not been making it to heaven because of a repeated errors in the body of Christ. So 
I, I, at, the, at that moment, I begin to feel somehow that what is that error? What is the error that is making people to go to hell now? And it's a common error that you and I make. It's a common error that pastors are making. It's a common error that Christians are making. And this error is the errors of uh, the Lord say that the Christians of nowadays, they have not get rid of their old lives. They have not get rid of their old personalities. They are still attached to their long life, to their back, to your back life then. They are still attached to it. And he said to me that any Christian that is still attached to their old forms, they will not make it to heaven. It's not a matter of anything. He told me, he said, anybody, anybody, any Christians that is not, has not come out from his old lives will not make it to heaven. And what is the things that he's saying that is causing them to go to hell? The Lord said that those Christians that are posting pictures on social medias, pictures of their old days, I'm not talking about you trying to say this is my old lives and this is my new life in Christ. And you post the two together. I'm not referring to that. But the pictures you have taken in the olden days there, when you are seeing the world, you still post them because you like the way it is. Because you like the way your uh, you, it, it, it is. The picture whereby you are using attachment or your, your clothes, the clothes you wear is not fully covered and you still posted it. The Lord said to me that I should tell you that if rapture take place, you are going nowhere. And if you die now, you are on your way to hell. And listen to me. The Lord said to me, he said, those people who are posting pictures of their friends, you know the friends you are posting, the pictures that she, 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 she snapped, is a, she's wearing worldly things. Yes, she's wearing attachment. She's wearing earrings. She's, she's putting on her paint into her mouth, powders, and so on and so forth. Your clothes is wearing, wearing trousers, wearing mini skirts, and lot more like that. And you still take away, you still take that picture and posted it because you wanted to wish her or him a, a happy birthday ceremony. And in that process, you post the pictures and you begin to pray into it. The Lord said, You are partaking in that sense because you know that is it's just as if it's just the same thing as your brother is the owner of a beer company the alcohol company and you you take you take the uh, the, the picture of the alcohol and you pasted it for people to see it's the same thing it's the same thing so when you preach pictures of somebody who is in sin who is in iniquities you know the person is has not yet given a life to Christ, and uh, uh, the, the mode of the stressings is not glorifying God. And you posted it; it's an embarrassment for you as a child of God. You haven't won a soul. You haven't won his soul, and you are posting his, his picture in the social media for people to see. It's a disgrace for God. It's a disgrace for you in the presence of God. And the Lord said, only Christian in these activities will not make it to the kingdom of God. They will eventually end their lives in hell. We are expected to be a gospel preachers. Any Christians are expected to be vi vibrant in God. Any Christian are expected to be a warrior in Christ Jesus. In your working place, you are expected to be well known for the gospel of Jesus that you are introducing for your for your work uh, co-workers, for, for, for your colleagues in your working place. You are expected to be well known. If Christian doesn't keep his mouth shut, no! You don't keep your mouth shut as a child of God. You have to open it up. You have to let them know what the Bible is saying. You have to let them know that they are on their way to hell if they have not served, they are not serving God in the right manner. Somebody say, but uh, the person I'm posting is going to church now. He's a Christian. He's just that he didn't believe in holiness. She didn't believe his holiness is the same thing as she is not born again at all. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 1, verse, uh, verse uh, chapter 2, verse 10, it said, if anyone is perfect in all of but in one point, is guilty. Jim 2.10. He says he's guilty of all. That's what he says. If you didn't believe in the holiness and righteousness message, you are guilty of God. If you didn't believe it, you are guilty. You are guilty. 
So you are not a heavenly candidate. You are not. You are guilty. The Bible says you are guilty of all. Guilty of all. It means all the sins in the Bible, you are guilty of it. If you didn't believe in the holiness and righteousness, it's a message you have to go. The Bible says without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. With that only, no man shall see the Lord. So don't tell me that uh, because he's born to give us, he didn't believe in holiness. It doesn't matter. In as much as not in the Jesus side, it's in the devil side. Jesus, when Jesus Christ came, he taught people how to love God with their hearts and to give everything they have for, G for God. As a sign of denials, he said, deny yourself. When you are using worldly things and material things, you have not denied yourself. It's, a, it's just a basic truth that you are definitely high, not God's side. A bastard in the kingdom. The Bible says, it said, he that will not deny himself and follow me. He that will not deny himself and follow me. He says, it's not worthy to be my disciples. It's not worthy to partake in the kingdom. It's not worthy to be among those saints who is going to come there. I'm not coming for such a person. He said, do you have to deny? Deny yourself is this. When God said deny yourself, he said, deny yourself of worldly things. Deny yourself of conversiousness. Deny yourself of the things people are doing in this world. Deny yourself. Make yourself holy. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, please be addressed. I beseech thee, make your body a living sacrifice, acceptable. See, it means that your body might not be acceptable. Acceptable. Paul says, let it be acceptable. Make your body a living sacrifice, acceptable in God's kingdom. In God's kingdom. So there's no way you are going to do it without being acceptable. You see, but it's my father. Your father is very a big thing. And you say, uh, Friday, congratulations uh, for your birthday and this and that. You are a disgrace to the kingdom. The question is that that sister you are preaching about, why do you preach to her? Why do you preach? Why can't you win her soul? You are now posting her like that. With the way she's representing the devil. With the way she's representing the devil. You are not you are not posting her. No. She was supposed to be said. The Lord said people are going to hell. These people that are going to hell are holiness Christians. Going to hell every day. Do you know why? Because they posted their friends. They posted their families. They posted their people. They posted the, the people that did their boss that is not born again into their DM and congratulate a unbeliever of his year. Please, I want to ask you a question. What kind of congratulation birthday are you giving to a unbeliever who has spent his whole or her whole life serving the devil? No, answer me. It's just a simple question that needed to be asked. What kind of congratulation messages are you sending to an unbeliever who have sent, have used 40 years, 30 years, 50 years, 60 years in the devil, serving the devil? No, answer me. Congratulations of using the life in the service of the devils. No, he's wrong. He's wrong. You don't do such a thing. When God said he has sent everyone to come and serve him, to worship him on earth, and somebody is busy around chasing careers, busy around looking for how to get money, Busy around, you know, chasing women. Busy around chasing men. Busy around flirting with his life and bodies. And you are congratulating the person and saying, oh, well done. Long life, long live. In sin. Right? The Lord said, I should tell you. Get rid of the things of the old in your house. Get rid of your trousers. You are born again, but your trousers is still kept in your comfort. Tell me what you have made. What do you mean? You want to go back to the right? No, let me know. You are born again, but your, your trousers is still in your comfort. You are born again, but your high heel is still kept there. You are born again, you know. 
But the things you are using to massage yourself as a woman, you know what I'm saying? Something like that look like a something you, you dig into your private part. You kept it somewhere there. You said, I'm not going to masturbate again. I'm not born again. But you see, kept it there. You have not born it. Then you are deceiving yourself. You are never born again at all. You have never born again at all. This is a basic truth you need to understand. A basic life message. You need what? You need to know. You need to understand this because the message of God cannot be denounced. It's a right message. A pure right message. It cannot be denied. You have to understand it or else you will end up in hell. Get rid of everything in your house that is not of God. Get rid of them. The video, the video, the 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 the, the VCD, the 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 the, 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 the face that is of the devils in your house. What you are using as a cream that is bleaching you. You are dark in comparison, but you want to become white. You are still using them. Get rid of them. Get rid of everything that does not glorify God. It is time to rest it too. Get rid of them. Get them out of your house. Otherwise. You go to hell. That result you do and you, you do my practice. They sit on your behalf. The result. Yes, the result. The result you do. The result you do. You didn't write it yourself. Somebody write it for you. And you're using it to work. My dear, you have to go and tear it and go and do it. Or else you will land in hell. I won't talk too much. My name will remain Apostle Peter Daniel. By the grace of God, his message is that you should avoid what is the equally yoke you are having with unbelievers as your best friend. You say this is your best friend. Are you okay? Unbeliever, don't you see what the Bible says? The Bible says do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. Don't you hear it? You see what relationship is light and, and darkness coming together? What? Tell me, what? What is the relationship? No, let me know. You can probably tell me, you know. Relationship between life and darkness. The devil and God. Which relationship? You can't be a friend of the world and still be a friend of God. If you are a friend of the world, you will be an enemy of God. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. You see that, but my, that is my, my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. Is she born again? Like, is she a holiness born again Christian? If she is not, if he is not, I think you need to go and pray well for deliverance for you, even yourself. Because for you to even go ahead into that relationship, you need prayers. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. God bless you. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Please go to subscribe to this channel. It's very important. And make sure you share it to all your friends. Let them know this is taking people to hell. Don't forget, if you watch without sharing, God will ask you. And you will give account for the sharing. Because the reason is this. Sharing this message will save lives. And you are commanded to save souls. God will ask you. So why didn't you share it and save the souls of man? God bless you. If you have any questions you want to ask, my number is written on the screen there. Ask me. And I want to use this medium to ask. I want to use this medium to tell this to the whole world that we already have a platform that God told me to have now on WhatsApp. They call it All Holiness Ministers Forum Worldwide. If you are a man of God, Holiness Ministers, Please WhatsApp me so that I can add you to that forum. With the Lord Jesus Christ have been telling me this. He has been telling me, show me the revelations in 20, 2015, 2016. And uh, I completely obey in agreeing after many messages and warning that God said, I should go and have the forum. Already, we already have a lot of ministers there right now. Join the ministers of holiness to take back the torch of God. To take back the torch of God. So you can WhatsApp me right now. 
so that I can add you to that group. May the Lord God bless you and be with you in Jesus' name. Shalom, God be with you. I remain a post with Daniel. Bye.